it's Di, and this is my Disney vlog. I was supposed to make this uh, about a week earlier because I was supposed to be back on Tuesday. However, Dorian happened and uh, it extended our trip much later. Our flights got canceled and so we had to stay there for an extra four days. We didn't leave until Friday. But what that meant was a few more days at this day. So um, I just kept vlogging and recording um, all the foods I ate. And I'm just so excited for this vlog. I'm doing this intro because I was just going to do um, the, you know, I was going to put a video of all the foods that I ate. However, when I did that, it was really, really long. So what I've decided to do is make it into a three-part video because it is amazing. And I want to share everything that I recorded because it's amazing so in total um i actually like had to like put it all together and i ate in 26 places during those 10 days and that could be you know from like meals to like snacks but i you know i kind of recorded everything so i can show you guys um it's really 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 easy to do this to be honest with you i know that disney had a lot of options usually and they're really really accommodating but I, oh my gosh, like I was shocked at, uh, on the amount of options I had and how good the food was. I mean, shocked. Like, I would not realize that I was in a amusement park. I mean, you can't really call this an amusement park, but you know what I mean, in a park. And the quality of the food and the taste and that it was all vegan, it was just like, I was just blown away. And I just wanted to share it with, with you all. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna make this into a three-part video. So um, I, in this intro, I kind of want to share with you the places that I went to, so you know what video has what. Um, in case you're specifically interested on one of the locations, however, I, I highly suggest watching all of them because I actually was surprised at some of the locations that I'm like, ah, oh, let me try it. And there was just one that was my favorite that I was just blown away how good that was. And I would have, I, I just went there for like. You know, it was it was available. We we're like, oh, let's try it, and holy crap! So, um, here is the first video, um, and I didn't do it based on amount of the amount of um, locations. I didn't break it up that way because some locations, you know, I just tried something quick, um, and the video wasn't that long. There's some locations where my videos are long just because I had a lot to say about them. So I decided to break it down in terms of time. So each of the videos is about half an hour. Um, here is the second um, video that hopefully will come out in a few days after the first one. Um, and here is the last video, um, which does have my favorite food that I ate in the whole time. Like, and some top ones too. It was towards the end of the trip, so we went a little crazy. Um, <laughs> But, um, but yeah, so those are all the locations um, and the three videos that I'll make about this. And I hope that you guys enjoy it. Um, I had fun making them. Um, I do have some disclaimers. One, it was so hot in Orlando. It's not even funny. If you actually watch other people doing um, the their vlogs, because this was uh, the opening of Star Wars land as well. So I'm sure many of you, if you love this thing, you've seen other people doing vlogs. All they talked about was how hot it was. It was disgustingly hot. So there are some videos where I'm like, hey, I'm eating this and like sweat is dripping everywhere. And I would just like clear it and then it would just continue. So it was just like pointless. So just FYI, please, um, you know, have compassion because it was so hot. <laughs> it's so hot. Uh, I tried my best. Um, <laughs> And um, two, you know, I tried to make sure I was really polite in how I ate and not to like be like, oh, this is what I'm eating. <laughs> um, but, you know, uh, please don't comment on that because I try to be like as, 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 you know, as polite as I could be. And three, there are some videos that are a, li a little bit low in terms of the volume. And that was because of two reasons. One, sometimes the... Um, the noise was really loud and I didn't realize how loud I wa it was outside so I needed to be even louder and I didn't realize until I did the um, the um, you know the videos um, for the YouTube postings so sorry about that and then second um, there are some places where it was like a nice fancy place and I wasn't gonna be like 
yelling about how the food was, so I was a little bit more quiet on those locations. Not like my cat right now. Momo! <laughs> um, yes, what would you like? What would you like? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. He wants to say hi. He's very talkative today. Say hi, Momo. You haven't said hi. Yeah. I love him. My baby. So, um, I do miss him when, when I was away, but he's a good boy. Um, okay. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. <laughs> um, and so, yeah. So, those two reasons loud outside and fancy places I couldn't really speak up so some of the videos are a little bit um uh low in volume so sorry about that I will put also in the description below of each video um the actual order of the um restaurants that we went on um and let me know the other thing I was thinking about is maybe putting like the prices of each of the meals um I can do that if that's something that you guys would like so if you do want that Put that in the comments and I would definitely do that just to get, get, give you an idea of how much I spent during the trip um, but yeah I mean I'm just so excited about this video I mean even when I was recording it I was like oh my god I can't wait to share this with everyone just because it was so so good um, I I had an amazing time I was a hundred percent like vegan you know without any without any compromises without any like suffering or like you know wanting to eat something else I was just in heaven like I was so happy um, and I really think that like Disney just goes above and beyond and they're doing huge steps into making a lot more options available for everyone so um, I hope that um, you know if you're planning on a trip going forward or even not Disney but just like um, you know trying to um, be a little more bold in your choices when you're going out to eat. Um, it's definitely doable and possible, and I just had a way better experience because of that. I, I, I think so. So I'm going to stop now because there's a lot of parts to go on this video. So I hope you guys enjoy, and um, yeah, let me know if you have any questions. And here's a part one of the video. Hello everyone from Disney World! So I am here, I've uh, been here for 10 days and I've had the most amazing time including having the most delicious, delicious vegan meals um, and from like, you know, the really, really healthy SOS free options that I could find in the places that I know that the chef could do something special for me to the, you know, the typical meals that you would expect to get at a park um you know not so healthy but delicious everything that i've had so far is really yummy and i just want to share with you all and so yeah i'll be here in total about 10 days so there's gonna be a ton a ton of selections and i just hope that it you know you can see um what I, what it looks like i've tasted all of them give you my reactions and um hope it helps you a little bit so i hope you enjoy them and i hope that um yeah, it, it, you know, even if you're not vegan, that it, it kind of makes you want to try some, you know, healthier options, um, more plant-based options. There's, I was really, really impressed at, at the amount of options that I had when I was here. And not only that, but how good the food was, actually. Very, very personally surprised. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Again, just going to be a lot of, of information and a lot of awesome meals that I had. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm traveling today uh, to Orlando and I'm at, I'm at the United Club and I'm going to show you guys the things that they have here that I actually can eat um, as a little snack before the plane ride which is like seven hours to Houston and then another two and a half hours to Orlando but um, yeah they have some good actually um, options here um, I'll show you guys so there's a salad bar with greens, broccoli Carrots, celery, and also pineapple. And we do live in Hawaii. <laughs> and then on the other side, they have edamame, shredded carrots, and then some other stuff. So definitely, I can have that. Any more bread? Let's go back to the other side. There's two soups that they're non vegan. But they do have steamed rice, no oil or salt added. I asked just, just in case. Um, so that's awesome. And then 
nothing over there. <laughs> but I can make myself a little salad. Um, and I'm gonna see if they can add lemon, because they only have dressings. So I'm gonna see if they can um, give me some lemon. So here's my plate. Um, so I just put greens, carrots, and a big pile of rice. And I'm gonna put this over the rice. So we're on the plane and um, I'm first so we get breakfast and this is what I'm getting well, I got this. My husband's gonna have this but he gave me his fruit so I get to have two bowls of fruit. inside Cinderella's castle and um, I called ahead and I said that I had a, a food allergy and they gave me the allergy menu but the chef just came out and she like pretty much said like what do you like what can't you have I will make I'll make it for you so we'll see what she's gonna make and I'll show you guys so this is my first course that she made for me so it's a bed of greens with pickled beets dry roasted um, cauliflower and um, carrots and I, I asked her to add strawberries but I didn't think about it I don't know how that's gonna taste but I asked for that <laughs> and some lemon as my dressing that looks delicious wow and this is my dinner and I am like um, it smells so good actually she did like a stir fry with mushrooms um, roasted dry roasted cauliflower rice, carrots, and microgreens, but the smell of it is delicious. Like these mushrooms that she used, I don't know what they are, but they're so good. So, yum. And for my dessert, I got some sorbet without added sugar. So it's a lemon sorbet and a raspberry sorbet. Again, no, no added sugar. I, think, I, don't, I do think it has like artificial sweeteners, um, but it looks really good. So I'm here in Star Wars. Uh, it's actually the opening day today, and um, I went to the Star Wars in California, and I had this already, so I kind of know how good it is. But it's so, so, so good. It is a falafel. Um, I will put the, the actual ingredients and name um, after with a picture. But it's falafel with hummus and whatever they put in it. It's all vegan. And it's so, so, so good. So, I'm um, so good that um, I, me and my, I'm having this one and me and my husband are gonna split a second one. That's how good it is. So now we're in Mama Melrose, which is an Italian restaurant in Hollywood Studios. It's really cute. Kind of like an authentic little... It reminds me of a little Italy, actually. Um, so 
The menu is actually pretty good here. They have actually now in the regular menu some plant-based options. So here they are. So on appetizers, they have this plant-based arancini, which sounds good. The only thing is that I can't eat spicy food, but it sounds really good. And then here, they have a plant-based polenta cake with mushrooms and cauliflower and cashew cheese, which I've heard is like delicious. So I may just get that. Um, but uh, I also asked for the allergy-friendly menu, which um, also has a polenta cake in it. But there is nothing else I think that's vegan other than those two options. That's good. And also, actually, I forgot, last time I was here, I think they were able to make this vegan, um, which was actually delicious. Okay, so can I tell you how much I love this thing? Um, so I actually decided to talk to the chef and ask to see if they were they would make something with no oil in it because everything that they had was vegan or plant-based. It was either fried or had a lot of oil. And he came out and said that he could absolutely make a fresh batch of pasta because they usually toss the pasta with oil. So he made a fresh batch for me with no oil. And then he made a fresh um, tomato sauce with some um, no oil roasted onions and asparagus and basil. And this smells so good. Let me show you. So this is totally plant-based. Yeah, the pasta is processed, but listen, like everything else is delicious and healthy, no oil added, and amazing. So, I'm gonna eat. Bon appetit! mushrooms, uh, um, cauliflower, impossible meat, and vegan mozzarella cheese. <laughs> so, those look really good. This is what the pie looks like inside. It's really good. So let's try it. Mm, mm. That is really, really flavorful. Really flavorful. Let's try the burger. It has actually a, a vegan aioli, I think, inside. Wow, that's really good. That's better than the Burger King burger. Okay, so I've had a couple more bites. And the one thing that I would like to add is that it's very, 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 very salty. Like, super salty. I mean, it's good. It's just very salty. Um, but it's really, really flavorful, like, in terms of... Um, everything inside of it and um, I'm moist, it's very moist, a salty. Mm. So this is another area where they have a vegan option in India. It's right next to China and the vegan option is Madras red curry with roasted cauliflower, baby carrots, chickpeas and ben, uh, Uncle Ben's rice. Um, I heard that it's not that good, so I'm not gonna spend money to try it. But I just wanted to um, just let you guys know. I'm gonna see if I can get close and see what it looks like. Okay, they don't have it ready, but this is what it looks like. I was gonna see if they had some plates made, but that's what it is. Okay, and this is another station, Africa, where they have a vegan option, and it's right here. It is the spicy Kenyan vegan githari, githari? rice, uh, peas, curry, rice pilaf, and whatever that is. <laughs> this is a picture of it, and I heard that it's really delicious. However, I cannot handle any any spice, so I'm not already having it. But I heard really good things about this one. Okay, I'm here in Toy Story Land at Woody's Lunchbox and I ordered um, the kids meal which is a grilled cheese um, but I ordered it with vegan cheese and this is what you get for $6.10 I think uh, it's a little pale and I think I don't know it took like 10 minutes to order this so I don't know if it's because I complained like why it was taking so long 
but it looks a little pale, but we'll see. It smells really good though. But um, yeah, you get all this and a drink. So let's try it. Let's see. It's actually really good. It is toasty. <laughs> it's really good. And for six bucks, it's not that bad. Tonight, I'm having dinner at the California Grill, which is about the contemporary hotel. And it's beautiful because you can actually see Magic Kingdom right there. And um, in an hour, the fireworks are going to go off. And they open a viewing deck and you can watch the fireworks and listen to the music. It's going to be amazing. So. But the food is also really good. And not only that, they actually have a whole vegan menu. And here it is. You have to select four, I think they're small dishes, and they have designated, which are actually vegan. This is vegan and vegetarian, but they also have this specifically vegan ones. So they have a vegan roll, pho, uh, fried rice, truffle pasta, and a pizza. So, we'll see. Ooh, and a dessert. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is a lot of food. It's like these are four plates, but they're humongous. So here's the pasta. Here's the fried rice. It looks like it has like little fried mushrooms on top. This is a sushi made with black rice. And this is the pasta, which wasn't the vegetarian section, but I didn't put the yogurt and the mix of vegan, so it's like with incredible meat, I think. So it looks so good. So um, everything was actually really good. I still have a lot left. This was a huge portion, but it's really, really good. And the mushrooms in this is really nice. And it's not overly salty, so that made it really good. This doesn't have a lot of flavor. It's okay. Um, it was creamy. Um, but yeah, the flavor wasn't there for me. Uh, this was really good. Um, oops. The, this one. Um, uh, the only thing is it is a little dry because I didn't put the yogurt sauce in it, but um, the taste was really good. Oh, yeah. um, Very good. Excellent. And then this was my favorite. This thing was delicious. I only had one, but like I don't want to have them because it was so good. So I'm going to leave it till the end. But the flavor of the black rice and the mango was just the best. So I'm going to continue my meal. I'm, Decided not to video it eating since it's a very nice restaurant, so but I wanted to like give a commentary while I remember all the flavors. And yes, I decided to order the cheesecake. It looks really good. Um, same inside. Ooh. Really good. Okay, let's try it. That is really good. It's like flavor. Good. Okay, I had to taste again because I made a video before this one and my husband says that all I say is that it has a really good flavor. So let me try it and give another description of what it tastes like. Mmm. It has a really good flavor. No, but okay. Actually very nutty. I like the nuttiness of it, um, and the chocolate's really good with it. Food and not too much expensive prices. And I got to eat 
um, crispy tofu. It said it's spicy, but I hope it's not too spicy. So it's crisp, crispy tofu on a bed of rice and beans, and it has some slaw and uh, green onion sauce. And this is the only sauce that's vegan. And yeah, I've had this usually with the beef, and it's delicious. And I've heard that the crispy tofu is really, really good. So I'm looking forward to it. You can also do a base of hash, hash browns or hash potatoes. Or a base of kale, but um, I love rice and beans. So that's what I got, and also I got a side of more sauce because this sauce is the bomb. So I'm gonna put a lot more sauce in it. Okay, so I'm gonna try it for the first time. I grabbed a little bite that has everything: a little bit of the sauce, the tofu, the beans, and the rice, and the kofla. So it should be a pretty good bite. So let's see. Now, honey, is that flavorful? That's what my husband says, I always say. It's got a lot of flavor. But it does have a lot of flavor. Damn. No, it's really good, guys. And it's going to be really filling on shit and spicy. So I'm going to put a lot of that sauce to kind of counter it. But the rice and beans are really well, well seasoned. And the crispy tofu is actually really good. It's really firm. Um, but yeah, I wish it wasn't spicy, but I don't think I can take the spiciness out of it. But hopefully also the coleslaw will calm it down a little bit. But um, it is, it is one of my best, like I love this place and it's really, really filling. It's really hot. <laughs> but it's also really big, it's a really big portion. And it's only what, how much was it, like $14? $14? You get like a crappy burger for $14. And this is like an actual really nutritious meal. So I'm gonna continue to eat. Okay, so I stopped at Starbucks, um, and I, I'm having my first vegan Starbucks drink. I looked up online, and they said that um, you can order the uh, mocha cookie frappuccino and just replace the milk for another non-dairy milk. So I put almond milk in mine, and then you have to request for no no chi no frappuccino chips because that those are not vegan, but the cookie crumble is. And so you ask them to blend the cookie crumble inside of the drink, and then they put. Um, chocolate syrup in it and let's see that's very chocolatey mm. Mm, the crumbles are good really chocolatey and really good I like it with the almond milk instead of the soy milk so nice up Hey guys, now I'm in Magic Kingdom um, and for dinner we came to uh, one of my favorite restaurants here called the Skipper Canteen. It's in Adventureland um, and this is actually a, a table that I request specifically. It's called the Butterfly Table and it's a round table and it's all butterflies everywhere. So that's like the main area. It has like three salons, different ones. You can request each salon, but then you can specifically request this table. Um, sometimes it takes a little longer, uh, but I love it. It's beautiful. Look, real cute. So yeah, so let me show you what the menu um, looks like here. They have actually a lot of options. Okay, so for appetizers, the jungle garden salad, obviously is vegan. But then what I'm getting actually is the falafel. I'm gonna share it with my husband and everything here is vegan, so it's delicious. Then over here for the actual meals, the curry vegetable stew is vegan. And then, uh, let's see what else. Oh, these, uh, that's what I'm getting. The Perkin Thai noodles, it says chicken and tofu, you just say no chicken. So that's vegan as well. Um, and then, um, I thought they had another salad. Nope, they don't. Sometimes they have a specialty salad um, called the uh, shiriki noodle salad, but I don't think they have it today. They change menus sometimes. But uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting the Thai noodles and I'm getting the falafel. I'll let you know how it is. Okay, and something else that's awesome in Magic Kingdom is that they have this little menu and it actually shows you all the locations based on um, like that, uh, quick service or table restaurant, like any restaurant here in the Magic Kingdom and it tells you if they're vegan and plant-based or what are the you know designations. Um, 
So it's, yeah, it's a plant-based menu and it has like everything in the Magic Kingdom. So like for example, today here we're at Jungle Skipper Canteen and here's everything listed. Um, so that's really, really cool um, that they have it. I wish they had that for every park, but hey, at least they started with this one. So that's awesome. So definitely ask for it when you come in uh, guest services or sometimes they actually have it at the restaurants. That's where I found this one at the restaurant when I checked in. So ask for the plant-based menu. So here's the appetizer. It's um, hummus with pumpkin seeds, radishes, and five falafels. Um, so it looks really good. And it's pretty big to share. So here's my first bite. Put some falafel and hummus. So. Mm. The falafel is actually really soft inside but really crispy and um the hummus let's see the hummus is okay it has a different taste not sure what it is but it doesn't taste like normal hummus the falafel is really good um the chickpeas is really soft inside let me try it again mm. yeah the falafels are really good the hummus is a little I don't think it's just chickpeas. I think they put something else in it. Um, like, I don't know. The texture is a little off. It's not as creamy. Um, doesn't taste bad. It just doesn't taste like hummus. I wonder if there's something else in it. Let me look at the menu. But, um, falafels are really good. Okay. <laughs> I just read the menu. Uh, it's not regular hummus. It's edamame hummus. That's why it doesn't taste like regular hummus. It's okay. Um, I think the texture, I think I would have liked it to be more um, more blended. No wonder why it didn't taste like hummus. But um, the falafels are good. Um, yeah, it just needs to be a little bit more blended for my taste. So here are my perking pie noodles. The noodles are in the bottom, a lot of vegetables, and then tofu. I asked for the sauce on the side because I wanted to try it before because they said that it was spicy. I can actually handle it, so I am going to, so I tried it, <laughs> and then I'm going to pour it now all over it and um, mix it all up and give it a try. Okay, so I just mixed it all up and I just realized this portion is humongous. I think it would definitely be two people, like it's ridiculously huge. But it has also onions and zucchini, carrots, peas. So a lot of good vegetables, um, peppers. So let me, I gotta try a little bit of the uh, noodles and the tofu. So let's see. Mm. So it does have a kick, um, but it's not too much like of a soy sauce flavor. Um, the tofu is pretty good. It's much softer than the earlier tofu I had today. Um, it's a good dish. Not my favorite I've ever had, but, um, but it's good. Um, I wish it wasn't as spicy, but it's already mixed in the sauce and I don't think they have any other sauce. Um, but yeah, the portion is so big, so I would share it with somebody for sure. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna just continue to have it. So look how big, like this is my hand. Yeah. Huge. Okay, just another note. I just, um, I decided I needed something else and I didn't know what it was and I, I thought to ask for two sides of lemon and I squeezed it all over and oh wow, it made a huge difference. It elevated the acidity of it and it's so good now. Um, so much better. It, it just brings it all together. So just a tip if you're here, I would, I would ask for that because it really helped it a lot. Okay, so I finished my meal, and first of all, my mouth is on fire, like, on fire. I've been just chewing ice because, like, I can't feel my my mouth and my nose is just like, ugh, but I can't handle anything in spicy, so probably for anybody, it will be like, oh, this is good. For me, it's just like, I'm dying. <laughs> but I did, I, I ate like half of it, um, but I wouldn't get it again, just... 
it wasn't like oh my god amazing and I do have to say that I I just wanted to say this like right now I did come here in May and I ordered um, steamed rice with a side of steamed vegetables and to be honest I would have rather had that right now um, also because the sauce was not only crazy spicy but also very salty that's also why I think I added the lemon because it kind of like counteracted the saltiness so I think you know next time I do come back um, you know I mean you live and you learn you know um, but now that I've had both I know that I would have liked much better and felt much better after if I had the, the other one which is not a menu item I just last time I talked to the chef and I wish I would have done that so.